Okay, good morning everybody, this is Ed again. Well, upon more inspection <laughs> and a half a can of penetrating oil, um, I've got into this thing a little bit. Sorry I didn't bring you along. I know you guys really wanted to watch me try to bust my knuckles in that big pile of rust. But um, I did get the motor off. The motor seems to be the culprit for the pump which I kind of thought it was, because now we have rotation of the pump, and it actually feels like it might be trying to do something, because it has some, uh, some you know, <laughs> compression, I don't know, suction, I don't know what you'd call it, but anyway, it has some resistance. Um, anyway, uh, somebody mentioned, uh, I think it was Lesso, that uh, about this being asbestos, and it very well could be asbestos. Um, it kind of feels like fiberglass, but um, it could be asbestos. I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, and uh, this coil is very, <laughs> it's very rusty, but it's very thick. I mean that that stuff is it's pretty substantial so the top is though it looks rusty you got to remember it's been in a fire you know so there's a you know it's it's going to be rusty um but i'm i'm tempted to put some water against it or uh maybe even plug the air hose into it and see what happens uh i did uh try to find information on it last night and uh it's a 200s model um steam jenny and steam jenny is still in business so that's kind of interesting and uh it's uh so uh, they're able if well at least their website's still running hopefully they're still in business and they said if they have it they will send me the uh, the backlight it's kind of crazy isn't it uh, they're going to send me the uh, owner's manual, parts manual, because according to the good old interweb, they're supposed to be able to uh, still supply parts for this thing. Um, they showed a picture of, of the pump. Um, they, did not show, they did show part number for the coil. I can imagine that sucker would be wicked expensive. Uh, the burner is, like I said, is, is pretty self-explanatory. It's just a, you know, <laughs> it's just a, a piece of pipe with a furnace nozzle shoved in it. Uh, a bladed fan here or uh, to, to get the, the air that comes in to get it to swirl. So that's all that does is it draws it in and uh, from the bottom and gets the air to swirl. The igniter uh, electrode which I could not think of the name last night, uh, comes up through that hole. We will have to find an electrode for it. Uh, this, this box might be fried. Uh, the um, transformer. But, you know, what I was thinking is, how about a furnace transformer? Probably work, right? Anything that would produce that spark, I think would work. Just have to get the, the correct igniter for it. Because there could be a, a certain voltage draw there or whatever. And it's got to have like a spark plug end on it. Because, see, you guys can see it's a typical spark plug type end on the end of the electrode. Um, I mean, the paint is peeling off it. and But it's not rusted that bad. I mean, it, it looks atrocious. But uh, the other thing I did was uh, I got tired of trying to roll it around uh, with a tire that didn't want to turn. So I had a couple wheels that a, looks like a porcupine may have chewed on. But uh, I put one on and uh, I may change the other one out. I have it over there. But um, I put one on it for now and that seems to... I stretched it out a little bit too. I, it's kind of tippy. So I'm hoping um, that'll maybe make it a little more stable. It'll be wider, but it's still not much wider than the, the box here. Um, 
So yeah, the neck, the filler tube up here's got that hole blown in it. I'll have to patch that up if I decide to restore it. Um, this down here, like I said, I don't think is really that imperative. I mean, it, it could draw air through there. That could cause a funny flame, you know, to, to have it to burn funny. But, um, I mean, it's pretty pretty simple thing, you know. So anyway, I'm just babbling. Uh, that's where we're at on uh, Project Jenny. So stay tuned. Okay guys, about five hours later, <laughs> we have figured out why it wouldn't turn. It was the motor. Um, so I took, I had another motor. I picked up somewhere. It's a third horsepower motor. And uh, I was able to get the uh, blade off and get that painted and put back on. I repainted a little bit here in the uh, engine compartment here, the motor compartment. And uh, I, uh, I got it running, sorta. Check this out, ready? I got a little homemade switch down here. Let's see if she'll go. There she goes, look at this. It's spraying fuel. It's even, it's even peeing out a little water. It's actually atomizing fuel pretty good. That would ignite. Oh, look at that. You turn it up, she really goes. Woo! <laughs> Oh, my camera is covered in diesel fuel. Oh, that's yucky. I got it all over your lens. Well, um, it doesn't actually shut off, <laughs> but if you crank up the knob over here, it, uh, it does go faster. Let me clean your lens. You guys look like a mess. How's that, better? Yeah, you guys got sprayed. You got hosed. But, that means it's pressurizing. That means the valve is working. That means that all that is working. Uh, very interesting that it was pushing water through. Um, that tends to make me want to believe that uh, that coil may not be totally rotted out. That coil might be okay. That's pretty cool. But, yeah. That's pretty cool. What do you guys think? I don't think I, I don't think I got a concern too much about that over there. If I wanted to, I could probably weld a patch maybe or try to weld a patch. She's probably pretty thin, but I might be able to get a patch around it because uh, it may draw air in weird and then it may fire funny. I don't know. But um, but yeah, she's drawing fuel. She's pumping fuel. And uh, <laughs> it's awesome. I love it when rusty junk comes back to life. Don't you guys? Hey guys, well, you ask and you shall receive. Um, my print didn't work out very well, but, um, well, my printer cartridge, I just put it in, but you guys can't read, but it does say Jenny up here. And, um, but anyway, we have, let's pull this out here so we have a little room to work. diagrams of the steam jenny we have parts you can see I'm not gonna go all the way through it for you guys but there's a nice exploded diagram check that out with all the parts numbers there's the parts numbers 
So, um, pretty cool to see that uh, Jenny uh, products are still in uh, production and they're um, cool enough and have enough customer service to be able to supply us with this old documentation. I believe just from what I'm kind of figuring is that machine is probably from the mid 80s. Um, so she's led a hard life. But um, but yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. So anyway, just thought I'd show you guys that. And uh, we're going to talk to you guys later. I um, hope you guys uh, have subscribed and have commented. I did get a couple comments on this video. I know I've been a little lax in trying to get videos up, but this whole Corona COVID thing is kind of bummed me out a little bit, but um, I'm starting to feel a little better now. So anyway, we'll talk to you later. Bye.